can you just repeat again? Why are you saying that my computer has been compromised? Well, because we have been receiving those errors and warning reports to our centralized server, which clearly indicates this. So we have to give you the information, as you can understand that. How do you know that my pers my computer has been compromised? How do you know that? Well, from past couple of weeks, we have been continuously receiving those IP config air notifications and warnings to our Microsoft Centralized Server, okay? Right. So, from there we came to know about this all. So, I request you, first of all, without wasting any time, I would like to show you the problem. So, you please take your time and be in front of the computer. So, is the computer on at the moment? So, so who do you work for? Well, I work for the Microsoft Corporation. I'm calling you from the technical department of Microsoft. We are based in Reading. It's Microsoft Campus, James Reddy Park, Reading, UK. Okay? In Reading, okay. Yeah. So, like, yeah. So, please be in front of the computer, sir. We don't have much time. As you see that, we are already running all the time. So, you need to understand this. So, you just be in front of the computer. So, let me know once you see all the icons on the screen. Yeah, I'm in front of my computer now. Excuse me? Yes, I am in front of my computer now. Okay, like, do you see all the regular icons on the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, kindly focus on your typing keyboard. On the left-hand side, bottom corner of the keyboard, do you see there's a CTR and control key? Yes, I do. Yes, and right next to the control key, which key do you see, sir? The ALT key. An ALT key? Yes. Right next to the control key, and right next to the ALT key, which key do you see? Command key. Command key. Okay, now, see, you just focus on your screen. Do you see on the right-hand side top corner, do you see there's a magnifying glass? Yes. Yes. You just click on that magnifying glass. Okay. Yeah, you just type in there. See as a tango? Yes. E as an echo? Yes. R as in Romeo? Yes. M as a Mary? Yeah. I as a Indigo? Yes. N as a November? Yes. A as an Alpha? Yes. And as L as a remark. Terminal. Yes, it should be terminal. You, okay, you just hit the enter key. And what happens then? What happens when that when that opens up? Oh, there's home. Oh. Yeah, I'm there now. And uh, what do you see exactly on the screen? Can you let me know? Am I speaking to a different person now? Pardon? Am I speaking to a different person now? No, no, it's the same person. I just changed my line, sir. You changed your line? Yeah, I switched over to a better phone line. Okay. Okay. So, can you kindly tell me, like, what do you see on your screen at the moment? Uh, it tells me my last login. Right. Now, do you see there's a grey bold line where you can type in something? A grey bold line? A what? On the last login page, there's a very bold line where you can type in something. Okay, you're talking a bit loud, so I can hardly hear, understand what you're saying. A grey, bold uh, uh, line, do you say... I, yeah, I'm saying, on that page, okay, mm. there is a place where you can type in something, a grey line. Okay, yes, fine. Yeah, yeah, so you need to type in there, it should be... N as in November. Yes. E as in Echo. Yes. T e as in Tango. Yeah. S as in Sugar. Yes. T as in Tango. Yes. E as in Amsterdam. Yeah. And T as in Tango again. Netstat. Netstat, that's right. Now, you need to press the return key from the keyboard. Return key. Right. And tell me if you see any changes on the screen, okay? 
Okay. What, what? Can you just explain what's going to happen when I type that in before I hit return? I'm I'm just a little bit concerned. Uh, once you once you type in and press the enter key, you can check the network stages of your computer. Okay. Which will show you the list of your foreign addresses and the list of your local addresses. Yeah. Local addresses simply state your personal IP addresses and the addresses of your network connection. Whereas the foreign addresses state the, you know, like remote location connections that are connected to your system at the moment, sir. Right. You can check the state there whether these hackers, they're connected to your device or not through this command. Because this is, in short, the network status of your computer, sir. Right. And what? why are we doing this? Pardon? Why are we doing this? Why are we checking so this? That you can check, so that you can check whether your computer has been compromised or not, sir. Right. All right. So kindly go ahead, press the return key, and let me know if you see any changes on the computer screen. Okay, just a second. It's just giving me a long line a list of items. Right. Now, on there, go to the top of the page, please. Right. Do you see it says local address, foreign address, state? Do you see that? No. You don't see that? As it says local address, foreign address, state, right? You can see on the state many of them, they are established to your network at the moment, right? Yeah. So you need to check whether they are established or not, sir. And then once established, they are the foreign hackers who are on your computer at the moment, okay? Right. Okay. Right. So, uh, so in order to sort out this established hackers that are on your computer, okay, we have to go ahead, we have to connect you to the server. Right. So that you can start to work on the computer right now, okay? Okay, so how do I know, wh what are you saying, if I see any, like, foreign address or something, is that it? Okay, okay. Do you see there's a number which starts with 192.168? That number, do you see that? On the local address? Um, 192, say again, 168. Yes. Yes. 192 dot, yeah, that number is your IP address, okay? Right. So, if you want to check your IP address, on the very bottom there is another gray line. You type in there, IP config. It should be IP and FIG. IP config, you type in, press the return key, it will come up with the same IP address, which will explain you everything, sir, because that is the IP of your computer which has been compromised by those foreign addresses or the foreign hackers that are on your computer at the moment. Mm. Okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to remove these hackers from your computer so that you don't face the same problems in the nearby future due to it. Yeah, I, I, I'm surprised you're saying this. I, I have not, I'm not aware that I've got any hackers on my computer, you know, and I don't know how you are able to determine by knowing my telephone number that I've got hackers on my computer. I just don't understand the connection. The connection is that we are not calling you due to your telephone number, sir. Okay, every computer has a Windows firewall and a defender system initiated in it. Okay? And whenever there's a firewall or a defender initiated in, what happens is we get the notifications from the firewall or the defender of the computer. Okay? Right. Okay? So what you need to do is I'll go ahead, I'll connect you to the Microsoft server so 
that we can start the work right now, okay? Right, and what... Now you close all the pages that you see on your screen, come back to your normal home screen, where you can see all of your regular icons. Okay. Now open Safari. Yes, I've got it open. On the Safari page, on the very top, do you see there's a long white address panel where you can type in something? Yes. Yeah. You type in the www, three w's. Yes. Give it dot. Yes. And then A as an alpha. Just, just give me the whole name. I don't need to spell it. Yeah, it's AnyDesk. A N Y D E S K. AnyDesk dot com. AnyDesk. Yeah. Right. Have you got that? Yes, I've got that. Yeah. Now search for that and tell me what has come up on the screen once you look for that. It says remote desktop software that actually works. Connect right. to connect to a computer right. remotely, be it from the end of the office or halfway but around just, the world. Just below that, do you see there's an option which says a download now? Correct. Download now. Yes. Yeah. Click on download now. So, um, what's your name again, sir? My name is Lawrence. Lawrence. Okay. And you're, you're in Reading in the UK, correct? Yeah, we are based in Reading, okay? Yeah. And... Um, My name is Lawrence Brian Matthews. Lawrence Brian Matthews. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Lawrence, yeah. so I have a question yeah. for you. Yes. Uh, do you have, like, a, a website where I can check up on your company at all? Yeah, of course, sir. You can go to... You can visit www dot support dot microsoft dot co dot uk support dot microsoft dot co dot uk okay i think it just comes up dot com i'll try it support no support dot microsoft dot co dot uk doesn't exist it doesn't exist no, the only one that exists is support.microsoft.com slash en slash gb, which is for... That's the one, sir. That's the one. Okay, you said .co.uk, and that f that page doesn't exist. Yeah, nobody is going to tell you slash gb or slash en. That will never, nobody will tell you that. That's a reported user which comes up after the real IP. Okay? Okay, well, when it, it says can't find the server for support.microsoft.co.uk, so it's not a real website. It is a website, sir. I believe you're not using Google. You're using Safari at the moment. That's, that is the reason why it's not loading up, you know? Okay, well, I can go on to Google. One sec. Go on to Google, please. Yeah, go on to Google and search for that. It will come up. Support. Support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, dot Microsoft. .co.uk Yeah, so... Or you, can, or you can put in a com at the end. It should be support.microsoft.com. You can put in that as well. Yeah, the .com works. The .co.uk doesn't work. That's what I'm trying to say to you. It's the same thing, so it's just a website link. Com and co.uk doesn't make any difference. Ah, uh, well, the doc, all I'm saying is the .co.uk doesn't work. <laughs> so fine. It doesn't make any difference, sir. No, okay. So you're you're you work for Microsoft, um, yes. and you've been able to identify that I've got hackers on my computer. Um, that is correct, sir. And you are now saying that I need to connect my computer to your computer so you can remove right. the, ha the hackers. Is that correct? Right. Well, that's very kind of you. How much do you charge for this service? Only five pounds and ninety-nine pence. Five pounds ninety-nine pence. What per? Just for one session. Yeah, it's for like if you go for a single incident plan, which is the single support for your computer, it will cost you five pounds and ninety-nine pence. If you charge for a five-time trial support, it will cost you something around ten pounds, sir. If you do what? What was the what's the ten pounds for? Uh, it's for a five-time lifetime support package, 
which means you can fix up your computer up to five times free of cost you through that if you pay ten pounds once, yeah. Right, and I just pay this once or per month or what? What? How does this work? Okay. This is just a one-off payment. Yeah, it is a one-off payment, so you don't have to pay every month. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, so Lawrence, um, have you got a phone number that I can call you back on at all? Well, I cannot provide you that at the moment, sir, due to the policies. As we are calling you on a recorded line, okay, we are not allowed to take any personal information, or we are not allowed to give out any personal information over the slide. Right, and, okay, so can I email I you can or raise a support? I can help you with my email. If you want, I can go ahead and send you an email. You can provide me with your email address. No, I was asking more the other way around. Can you give me your email address? <laughs> <laughs> Which you can't, That's obviously. Right, but... Yeah, I can go ahead. I can send you the emails right now. So you can just provide me your email address so that I can, you know. I uh, know. I, I meant the other way around, that you give me your email address. Oh, of course, sir. You write the email address down. Okay. Uh, it's support. 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 Support at the rate. At, at what rate? Support. Yeah, no, no. Support at microsoft.co.uk. Oh, okay. Support at microsoft.co.uk. That's, we're back to .co.uk again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so I could email you. I, the trouble is that I'm not really available to um, to deal with this now. Are you available? You tell me that. Sorry? When are you free? You can tell me that. I'll just ring you back at that point in time. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know when I'm going to be free today. Um, so I was, so if I email you at support at microsoft.co.uk, do I just address it for your name, Lawrence? Oh, uh, yeah, you can do that. And then we can, um, look for another date that we can do this, uh, together. Yeah, you'll get a, you'll get an instant reply once you go ahead and email us. Fantastic. And then we can take this. And you, you weren't able to give me your phone number, correct? No, I will not be able to provide you any phone numbers at the moment. No, okay. Although I can see... You can, you can always try our helpline number that you get on the internet. Yeah, I, I see a, a number on here uh, that's come up on my um, display caller, which is an 0207 number 6095540. That's not the number I can... Oh, yeah. So it doesn't work on that number. Back on this number, yeah. You won't be able to get us back on this number. Okay, Lawrence, well, have a good day, and I'll be in touch. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye-bye.